So before I get to this review, it is 12.38 in the morning and I just found out that leathery <laughs> Donald Trump is now our <laughs> U.S. president. Thank you everyone who didn't vote. Everyone, I got Sticky Dippin' like water. Snoop. Everyone, I got him. Dippin' like water. 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 Everyone, I got him. Talk to him, nephew. Now we just come drop jelly beans, lollipops, and triple beans. Blue carpet, yeah, that's the treatment. This hair is from Sex Hair Hair. And they sent me this shirt, but this shirt is ill fitting as hell. And uh, I don't know how they did this graphic, but it is busting through all. Yeah, okay. So I have in 20, I have it 428 inches in body wave and i have a matching frontal as well that i went ahead and added some color and while i was doing my other wig i decided that i wanted to go ahead and add some color into this so this is like a all burnish color and i wanted to show you guys that after i did the color i wasn't sure how the pattern was going to work so i just took a big flexi rod and i put it in as you can see it still matches the other pattern is not as lustful. Um, and that's only because of the color difference, the color variation. It doesn't look as, uh, it has as much luster in it as the rest of the hair does. So this is what all 28 inches and four bundles looks like from the back. And this people, and you guys know, I, this is crazy because I'm about to say it, this is a lot of hair. Okay, this is a whole lot of hair. And I just couldn't figure out what to do with this. So I feel like Michael Jackson the Thriller. <laughs> it's a lot of red going on here. Um, so to the hair itself, as you can see, I've had this hair for quite some time and it still holds its body wave. Now, this isn't the, the natural state of this hair. This is what it looks like after I went ahead and body waved, body waved. After I flexi rod, it did the all of this hair up. This is the result that I got from it. So again, if you do have hair that has texture in it and you do put a little color in it or you wear it for quite some time and then it starts to fall, then grab some flexi rods and boom, there you go. The frontal I really like. I really enjoy this frontal a whole lot because I made it using my bigger mannequin head, which is a 24 inch one as opposed to my 22 or 23 inch one, just to see, cause I like when my, I like to go ahead and glue everything down with the Gossip be glue, but I like when my wavy or curly hair has a little bit more space cause it seems like I can move a little bit more in it, which I can. Now, as far as the shedding goes, I did get a few strands here and there and every now and then I'll I'll grab one but again it's nothing major it's nothing yeah you know, it's nothing major that I'm getting which is great and you know a lot of times when you pluck uh, a nice amount of hair out of these units or out of these frontals you get a lot of you know leftover hair and I was able to actually like run my fingers through everything after I went ahead and plucked it and it was cool so that's the great thing I love about this too, because it is so long, it's not, it's wearable like this, like this is great for a review, this is great if I'm going out, this is not work hair, you know, it's not, because it is a lot of it, and then because it isn't straight, it's hard to sometimes tame. So this will be cute with like a braid in the front, or if you want to just, you know, braid this and bring this back to kind of get it out your face. Or if you just want to wear it in a half up, half down, this would be great for that because it is so much hair. Um, I think three bundles probably would have been just enough for this. Um, I don't really feel like I needed the fourth bundle, but because they sent four, I used four. But like I said, I'm usually not the one that ever says anything about it being a lot of hair ever and... Yeah, but you see how this pattern just is right back into it with the rest of it, even though I've already bleached this and put color, because I bleached the color, then I put the color over it. The color that I put over it is a dark auburn. So I just wanted a little bit of color in the front. It was much lighter when I bleached it, and then I toned it down to this color. So 
it it meshes with what's going on, but it's not too crazy. Because I did want it to wear my, you know, ghetto door knockers. And I'll put the link for these below as well. But I wanted to do something that was a little bit... Apparently, I'm feeling Thriller Nights is what the hell I was going for. <laughs> so, yeah, I, I really do, really do like sexy hair. I don't really have too many issues with them, if ever. I think I had, like, one moment where I didn't like some hair that they sent. But overall, they've always sent me great hair. I've always got great hair. And a lot of my subscribers who bought hair from them said they have gotten great hair from them as well. So that's the great thing that I like to hear back as well. And I also like to hear the fact that people's hair, they be like, after seven months, my hair still curls back. After seven months, the curl pattern isn't looking crazy. So that's great as well. Now... As far as how it took color, it, soon as I put the bleach on it, it snatched the stank up off <laughs> the color, which was great. And then I remember conditioning it and I used my Tresemme conditioner, you know, the moisture, the rich moisture is best in the world. And when I had it just sitting, I just kind of like took it toward my fingers to see if it would spring back because it, it, it does have a bit of a curl, you know, and a pattern to it. And it actually went back while it was still like saturated with a whole bunch of conditioner, which says a lot because a lot of times whenever there is any type of, especially body wave, because body wave is much of a lighter wave um, to the hair versus other um, other hair. So it's, it's not it's treated as much. Um, the virgin that is being claimed to be, like I always tell you guys, nobody's hair is this uniform so it definitely has had some process what process i can't tell you you know verbatim what they did but it's definitely not the original state i do believe that this hair was originally straight and the reason why i say that is because the way that it lays it lays very flat so the s pattern isn't an s pattern it's more of an s pattern like that so that means it lays down it doesn't have a like when you put a flexi rod in your hair and you take it out, the flexi rod has body to it. When I got this hair, everything was an S pattern, but it was flat. So it's a difference between a a curl, a coily curl and an S pattern. And a lot of times when you do get an S pattern, depending on what it is, you ever see like hair that's being sold and it's two bundles together, but they wrap them together. So it's this big, but it's like a three dimensional curl. So it does have a more of an ex ex expansion this is more of a flatter curl well a flatter wave and this is of course like i said before this is their brazilian body wave everybody's favorite now a lot of times people ask me how many bundles would they need to achieve a more natural look or to achieve the look that i have i always put my bundle count in the beginning of all my videos that you guys know but just this alone is half of the hair pulled forward because the other half is there so imagine like this is a lot like this is definitely if I was a celebrity of some sorts and I was going somewhere or I made an appearance on something this would be that like you see your favorite on a reality show or they're making an appearance on American Idol or they come somewhere this is what I would wear and this is how much hair I would wear the average person three bundles for this especially this length would be max for anybody else if you're just trying to be extra, it's your birthday coming up and you just want to be stupid and get crazy with it, then four it would be. But for the average person, three is enough. Just make sure that you get a frontal and not a closure with this because you won't get that same effect with a closure as I'm getting with this. Because this will not lay down like this with a closure. It will give you more of a, you have to find a stationary part with it. It doesn't look as natural. So, sexy hair, you know you guys always do me well. I always have great things to say. I'm very happy with this hair. I'm probably going to go ahead and do this color throughout the entire wig. I think I'm going to just do this auburn color all the way through. Just because I really do like how it turned out. And I feel like if everything was this color, I can give you another look. And I want to do um, probably like an actual style where I put like braids or something in this frontal when it's glued all the way down. To see how it looks. So if you guys are interested in this look. Make sure you guys check the links below. And I will catch y'all in my next one. I mean I'm obsessed with these earrings. Because they so ghetto. And I'm just. 
Okay, y'all feeling it? Cause I'm feeling it. Okay, I bougetto. But then I just thought about Donald Trump as our president yet again, and I just got sad all over. Catch y'all in the next one.